What is going on guys? Welcome back to a, another build video. This build video is for the Cursed Pumpkin 2.0. So I've made some changes from the original uh, bow gank build. Um, so we'll jump straight into it. So first we'll start off with the sets. So previously I was running, uh, let's see if I can find it, Imperial Wrath. Uh, which buffs only your ranged uh, direct damage abilities um, and I wanted to run a Dawnbreaker on this as it's hitting super hard as well so I've switched that out for Witch Knight so we're running a Witch Knight's bow in Nernhold as we've got tons of penetration anyway so you can run Nernhold for extra damage with the weapon damage enchantment we're running the uh, Light Balorg helmet Divine's Max Magica. Uh, we've got the chest is Shattered Fate and uh, the shoulders is Balorg Medium. And the rest is Shattered Fate, so it's all medium apart from the head which is light. All Divine's, all Max Magica, nice and simple. And we go to the Jewelry Witch Knight infused with weapon damage. Uh, Witch Knight Ring infused weapon damage the oaken soul infused weapon damage that's four pieces we're running for three lines of weapon and spell damage uh, so we've got the merciless resolve I've changed the morph um, so that you're getting stacks of weapon damage so we're building that up nice got the shrewd offering for your heal focus aim for uh, physical damage and uh, minor breach uh, your concealed weapon hits super hard, gives you major berserk while under the influence of uh, expedition. You've got your cloak, and of course you've got the Dawnbreaker which hits super hard. Now we just showcase the uh, stats quickly. Just build up your... Um, your stacks are relentless, or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's even called. Merciless Resolve, right here. Yeah. Do that, and we'll do a heavy attack. That's nice. You see, you've got 7.5k weapon damage. You've got about 28k pen uh, with the um, focused aim, but nearly 40% weapon critical. So you're going to hit like an absolute um, Let's go into the stats, so you want it all in Magicka. Run Bewitch Sugar Skulls for your max stats. Run in the Shadow for damage. Critical damage, sorry. Stage 3 Vampire. All the usual. 70% critical damage plus the 50% base so you get about 120 nice and strong running the Khajiit make sure you've got your medicinal use try and get your undaunted if you can fighters guild so this can also go melee toe to toe you can do the Dawnbreaker, hit with your concealed weapon, or if you want to go range, you can come from distance and do your bow, uh, merciless resolve, and plenty of damage, plenty of pen, plenty of crit, plenty of crit chance, plenty of movement, you've got it all, strong healing, um, so like I said, the variation is of this before I was running yeah, the Imperial Wrath bow, if I've got it, yep. Um, but that only buffs uh, ranged stuff, so I couldn't run Dawnbreaker. And it doesn't buff a uh, concealed weapon. It was only buffing focused aim, and so if you was running the uh, Toxic Barrage bow ult. Um, but with this, it's going to buff everything across the board, so I think Witch Knight is the better option. Um, let's jump into the CPs. 
got your deadly aim, master at arms, fight and finesse, and you got your backstabber of course with all your critical damage bonuses, lovely, have a bit of rejuvenation, a bit of health, you can play around with these, celerity for your movement, and bastion to get through them tanky arcanists, um, but yeah your movement speed is lovely, easy to play, nice little build, works really well in battlegrounds been doing a lot of it I'll showcase the clips as well everyone enjoys the build like this video and uh, if you could uh, sub to my channel if you're not already and I'll uh, see you in the next build video